Hello and welcome to Focus on St. Barnabas Healthcare System, the monthly program for physicians of the St. Barnabas Healthcare Partnership. I'm your host, Dr. Howard Torman. This month, you'll meet St. Barnabas Medical Center's new chairperson of the OBGYN department, Dr. Veronica Ravnikar, and you'll learn about her plans for the department's future after more than three continuous decades under the previous administration. We'll also look at the quality of care in St. Barnabas Healthcare System and the controversial issue of computerized physician order entry. We begin, though, with a story about the Quality Improvement Organization's involvement with the PRO of New Jersey. They're getting ready to launch this year's seventh Scope of Work and Core Measures report. The timeliness of which you administer the medication is as important as the medication itself. And this is what's come out of these outcome measures. So it's the timing of the treatments that they're looking at, I could tell you, with the seven scope. That's really the big highlight of it. Beginning this November, the peer review organization's national initiative, known as the Seventh Scope of Work, will go live in New Jersey. St. Barnabas Healthcare System's Quality Initiatives Organization is already working to get the word out that the diagnoses you may be familiar with from the past three years' Sixth Scope of Work are being refined. The Seventh Scope of Work is the seventh contract from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services in Washington. It used to be known as HICFA. With the seventh scope of work, they've built off the lessons that they've learned previously, and they're concentrating on four diagnoses. They'll be working with heart failure, myocardial infarction, pneumonia, and then some surgical indicator that's yet to be announced. It will allow us to collect data in a reasonable way. Thank goodness it's fewer indicators than the sixth scope of work, and will really allow us to fine-tune the efforts on the progress that we made in the sixth scope of work. Two key members of the Quality Initiatives team are Vice President for Corporate Standards, Joanne O'Connell, and Monmouth Medical Center's Director of Performance Improvement, Barbara San Giuliano. They're joined by liaisons designated to be conduits of information between each St. Barnabas Healthcare facility and the PRO. The true function and purpose and initiative of the Seth and Scope is to continually improve the quality of treatment for those disease entities discussed. One way the Seventh Scope of Work is being improved is by tightening up and simplifying diagnoses. St. Barnabas Healthcare System physicians will learn of the numerous changes in indicators through soon-to-be-released materials from the Senior Medical Affairs Committee. According to Ms. San Giuliano, the timing and documentation of medication administration, as well as discharge rules, are amongst the most important and strict measures being emphasized by the PRO. I think if we go back to a single most important point, it's going to be documentation. It's the old adage, if you, if you haven't written it, you haven't done it. And I know documentation is very time consuming. So each facility is working in their own ways to come up with short forms, targeted forms to really allow you to direct your documentation um, efficiently in the areas that you need to address. St. Boniface Healthcare System, is, their priority is always quality of care. Uh, PRO is just one of those avenues that we have embraced because it has proved to be very successful in positive outcomes for our patients. In another effort to maintain a high level of patient care, the St. Barnabas Medical Center has appointed Dr. Veronica Ravnikar as its new chairperson of the OBGYN department. Dr. Ravnikar intends to carry on the traditions of excellence set in motion by the department's highly respected previous administration. 